Have you ever wondered why gold is yellow and copper is red? We see color when light bounces off a surface. When light made of photons hits a metal surface, all wavelengths are absorbed. Metals are not black because all wavelengths are immediately re-emitted. If we look deeper, metals are made of conduction band and valence band, which overlap. Therefore, when electrons in the valence band gain enough energy from the photon, they can jump to the conduction band, leaving the atom in an excited state. Then the electron falls to a lower state, releasing the photon with the same energy difference. Why do we see gold and yellow, and copper reddish, but not grey as other metals? This is because gold has a strong absorption of the violet wavelength, thus the re-emitted photon lacks this wavelength. The result is that gold appears yellow. For copper, the green wavelength is strongly absorbed, so copper appears red since it's the complementary colour of this wavelength. But why do these metals have strong absorption of these wavelengths? The reason is due to relativistic effects, where the energy levels experience a shift from the high frequencies to the lower frequencies. The transition responsible for the strong absorption in gold is the transition from a 5B to a 6S shell. For copper, it is the transition from 3B to 4S. And that's how copper is red and gold is yellow.